Hello everybody, this is Tushar Bhakt and you're watching VTNX and I'm back again with one more amazing video. So in this video, we are going to let you know that how can you create astonishing games with the help of chat, GPT and other AI tools. So in this video, I'm going to let you know that how can you actually create three games that you can actually play it with a very amazing interest with the help of chat, GPT. So without wasting enough of your time, let me take you directly to my chat, GPT. And before then, I would like to let you know that these are the few preparations that I have done in advance so that you can actually know that what are we going to do. If you are afraid of losing your job to chat GPT, let me tell you something, chat GPT is just tip of the iceberg. There are multiple AI tools which can work like human and which will replace you. But AI won't replace you directly, a person using AI will. Be that person using AI, learn art of using chat GPT and other AI tools. So the first prompt that we are going to put in the chat GPT is something like can you please suggest three person games that can be developed using HTML, CSS and the JavaScript. So let's just copy and paste this thing and let's see what is the result looking like. Okay, so you can see that it is suggesting me three puzzle games or props which we can develop using HTML, CSS and JavaScript which is slide puzzle, memory matching game and the sudoku. So personally just because I have been a user of the slide puzzle game so let's do a thing. Uh, I have already made a prompt where I will then let's proceed with the development of the game sliding block puzzle using html css and the javascript i'll just copy and paste it out this prompt over here and let's give the enter button and let's see how the information is coming up okay so it is now developing a sliding block puzzle game that involves creating a grid of movable tiles that player can slide to rearrange and solve the puzzle let's start with simple implementation so here's where the html css and the javascript code is so there's a tool called as code pen where you can actually go and copy paste all your prompts generated by the chat gpt and you can have a live preview that how does it looks when you just click copy and paste your entire code generated by the chat gpt so let's just copy the html4 code at the first and let's paste it out here let's click on the css code let's paste it out here and now let's click on the javascript code and now let's paste this thing also over this section let's open this thing so you can see that this game has been created within seconds with the help of chat gpt so this was just a simple game but we were actually speaking like we are going to generate and create super engaging game so this is a second prompt that i have made in advance ready for you you guys so where i have written something like could you please help me in building a pong game using html csn and javascript if you don't know what a pong game is all about let me just show you exactly what and how does it looks like so this game is something where you would have played for sure in the video game or in the xbox in your childhood days this is something where do these two sidebars basically you used to come up and you just need to hit this ball and save your ball so we are going to build that game over here so it's a two player table tennis game uh where each player controls a paddle and tries to hit a ball back and forth the goal is to prevent the ball from passing your paddle and hitting the wall behind you so these are the game mechanics and the implementation steps basically uh i have got all this information with the help of google search so it is very easy just go to google and search for the game mechanics of this particular game you'll get the entire information let's close out this thing and let me get back to chat gpt so i'm opening a new prompt bar i'm copying it pasting the entire information and let's see how the result is coming up okay so sure i'd be happy to help you build a pong game using html css and the javascript let's bring down the implementation steps so you here you can see that the html code is generated Dead and also the JavaScript and notice that also a movement to the parallel using keyboard controls it is automatically being added here just because we have given the right on so if you want to have a detailed look at the prompt I'll just open this thing you can obviously pause the video and have a look at this thing so that you can have a better understanding so now let's do a thing so the first one is the HTML section just copy this thing let me just paste this thing get back to chat GPT let's copy the JavaScript okay so you can see that this is how the game will look like so this is the pong game and now let me take you to the third and the most interactive game that we were talking about now we are going to build a very popular game which is called as the flappy bird so we are just going to copy this thing okay so just a second you are someone who should get adapted with the ai technology because ai is not going to replace person but yes obviously a person using ai can replace another person so what am i letting you know about is this workshop which is going to be connected by two iit kharagpur alumni which will be done just for nine rupees and the cost of this thing basically it is less than the cost of a chai i would say you are going to learn a lot of things with the help of this workshop so you will be getting adapted with the ai technology you will be getting to know how things work just go to the link mentioned in the description below enroll for it and do get adapted with the ai technology so all you have to do is just go to b10x.in slash ai once you go to this website you can see that you will be able to interact and apply for this course just for rupees nine and this is something which will 
will be connected by a very big founders of multi seven figure companies. Let's get back to the video. I'll just open a new prompt and the prompt is could you please build the popular game Flappy Word using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let me just paste out this information, click on the enter button and let's just copy and paste the same thing. So we will be doing one thing that we will be completely doing all this thing in the code pen. Let me just copy the index, which is the HTML, the style, the CSS and the script, which is the JavaScript file over here. And you can see that the game is actually something which I can play. But I think there is some issue because of which we are not able to play in a very right way. So all I'll be doing is I'll just make some changes in my prompt. So basically the basic version of the game works fine, but I like to implement some additional features. The word should remain within the boundaries of the canvas. If it exists with these boundaries, the game should end. Similarly, if the word comes into contact with any of the pipes, this should also result in end of the game. When the game does end, I like to pop up a dialog box to appear, displaying the message game over and providing a retry button for the player to restart the game. Along with that, the game should also start only after the player has clicked for the first time. So this is something I have written in advance and I'll just copy and paste this entire thing. And let's just click on the enter button and let's have a look at the updated script. So it is just giving us the updated JavaScript file. So I have written something as I'm new to coding. Could you please rewrite the entire HTML, CSS and the JavaScript code? Just because the game was getting started automatically, I was not able to play it. So it should only start after I click it for the first time. So here is the updated file that has been generated by the chat GPT. So let's just click on the copy code button. Let's get back to code pen. Let's paste the HTML section. Let's paste the CSS section and let's paste the J section. Let's come here. Let's play the game. So I can play the game with the help of space button. So space bar is the key of playing the game. So actually I'm not able to play the game in a very good way because I think like I'm not a very good user. So I have written in a way where I have mentioned something that like we should replace the word pipes and the canvas background with the images from the provided URLs and how do we provide the URL. So basically what I have to do is just search for a post image and let's just open this thing and in the sidebar let's open google images and i'll be writing here something like word png animated so i would like to go with this image so basically i will be downloading this image and i would name it as bird and i would go in the post images i would click on the choose images i'll just choose the image and it will now generate a link for my image so all i have to do is just copy this link and paste it in the chat gpt and then chat gpt will create the prompt according so all i have to do is just copy this link which is this one link i'll get back to chat gpt in the word png i'll write this link let's come back so for the, with the same style, I'll be doing the same thing for each and every one. So with the same style, I now will be doing it for the background. Let's copy the link. Let's paste it here. And now let's click on the save and submit button. Update all the quotes. Copy and paste all the quotes. You can see that actually my game is created and now I'm completely ready to play. So this is how the game will look like. So that's because I have not chosen the PNG for pipe. Actually, I can go and select the PNG for the pipe also. So this is how you can actually create engaging and super interactive games that is actually very stunning and very super interactive so this was all about how you can create games with the help of chat gpt if you really found the video useful then do not forget to hit the like button i'll meet you with one more amazing video within then thank you for staying tuned with the next bye bye